All right, guys, I've finally gotten around to filming this vehicle and gotten the details on it as much as I could. If I do make a mistake, uh, please go easy on me. I know the internet's a brutal place. Okay, so let's talk about the engine. People like the word turbo and V8 in the same sentence, but it gets a bit weird when you say the word diesel in there. So with this 4.5 turbo diesel V8, we've got 15 horses worth of horsepower. Now I'm actually saying that right because one horse makes 14.9 horsepower peak and at 227 horsepower or 117 kilowatt, dad do the maths. So it also goes from 430 newton meters torque all the way up to 500. So to aid with that additional power, it's got a heavy duty clutch installed, uh, 1300 newton meters. It's also had second and fifth gear widened, so it's a bit more daily drivable. Uh, the snorkel's also, also been modded, so air goes from the snorkel into the engine, power comes to the wheels, and obviously air has to come out, bam, of that, into that 76 millimeter downpipe, uh, installed straight from the turbo to there. So basically, f air flows a lot uh, easier uh, as opposed to stock. So the cost of engine mapping, gear ratio alterations, and other supporting mods at the fridge inside, spraying exposed past black, labor and whatnot comes to 65 grand so if you want to do something like that now you got the price and you know what it'll be with the approximate the currencies on the screen and you can just work it out from wherever you are in the world now that we've got those numbers out of the way let's talk about a different set of numbers so as you know with every 4x4 there comes the urge to install a lift kit bam 2 or 2.5 inches i keep getting that number wrong so it's either 2 or 2.5 inches lift kit go with that so we've got bam fox shocks in the front and in the rear ah, look at that so when you do a lift kit one thing you need to remember everything in your suspension needs to change apart from your shocks there has to be mods done to the entire suspension such as heavy duty leaf springs as installed here, mounts for the leaf springs, supporting mods to brackets, spacers, diffs, hoses, piping, diff breathers for oil, extended brake hoses, just to name a few. So think of it as geometry or symmetry, what's the word? Symmetry, symmetry, synergy, synergy, there we go. Think of it as synergy with your entire vehicle. Now one thing Toyota does, which is weird, is that the rear diffs sit narrow as opposed to the front diffs. I don't know why. Someone please tell me if you can, please put it in the comments. Yeah, so it basically got diffs spaced so the vehicle sits more evenly. And uh, speaking of brake hoses and pops and clamps and whatever, if you don't know, the brakes on these vehicles actually suck. So this has had power brake calipers, discs with pads installed. That'll set you back about 18 grand. Uh, it really helps with not hitting those bad drivers, you know, as much as you want to, because it's not like you're going to take much <laughs> damage with <laughs> chassis mounted pull bar. <laughs> uh, imagine what the X car will look like. So we got your wheels. So if you don't know, a wheel consists of the rim, that's the metal part. You've got your tire, that's the rubber part, and then the wheel is the entire part. So we've got BF Goodrich TAKO2s, uh, 33 inch, and they are 285s. So what does 285 actually mean? 285 is basically the width. Any number you see like that is basically the width of the tire. Or another word would be girth. <laughs> anyway, back to the point. Fuel rims are the rims used. You can just see it there. Bam, it's upside down. I must say, that's quite a primitive fuel cap for a vehicle in 2022. But yeah, anyway, uh, if you don't know the fuel tank, 130 liters. I went over a, uh, a base breakdown of stats of a Land Cruiser. So, what you see in this vehicle, you can basically expect the same in the Land Cruiser 76, which is the SUV or station wagon. So for a set of five fuel rims, you're looking at about 29 grand. And for the BF Goodrich tires, it'll cost you about 22 grand for a set of five. And there are also rear spaces. Like I said, their geometry is just there. Uh, 
spacing whatever is just weird. So you put on spaces to make everything equal and that'll set you back about seven and a half grand. Moving on to the upper exterior, which most of it is Anka part. We have an Anka full replacement bull bar. That'll set you back 25 grand. And a skid plate, eight grand or bash plate. That piece there. And on the bull bar itself, we have ARB spotlights. They're gonna set you back 27 grand. Yikes. And you think, why would you pay that much for something that's fading? I'm not actually sure why. Maybe it was just a bad batch of plastic. But they are gang bright. That's a horrible analogy. You get what I'm saying. They are extremely bright. I just don't use them on the highway or else people will start flipping you off. And we also have these six lights on the top. These are solar connected lights and they will cost you about 15 grand a set of six. There's a worn winch still to be installed. Uh, the headlights have been changed, but it's basically just Osram bulbs that have, that have been put in. Uh, nothing major there. And there's a solid metal grill that replaces the front grill. I'm sure you can see there. Bam. Uh, there's also been a chip guard that's put on. So often you see vehicles with that chipped and nice to have some extra protection. So we've got Onka uh, uh, let's call it skid plates, rock rails, step up plates, basically that metal. So it serves two purposes so you don't <laughs> side of your vehicle as you go over rocks for whatever reason. And also it helps with stepping up because with the lift kit it's a bit <laughs> tricky. So let's hop onto the back shall we? We got Anka cattle rails. They are selling for 33 grand. And inside are toolboxes. And yeah, those toolboxes will run you 15 grand. There are numerous clips and supporting mods and bolts and whatnot. And there's also a wrap. If you notice the color, it's not stock. So the overall color goes by the name of graphite gray. So for a wrap like this, you're looking at about 54 grand. Just to give you a ballpark figure. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The rear bull bar, is it a bull bar? Tow bar? Bash bar? Has been changed and there's also been a bracket installed so the rear tire can... Some oaks have them mounted in the back, which, why? Because it's less cargo space. Yeah, it's a bit more... Use more space. <laughs> Alright, breeze is picking up and it's getting cooler, which is a good thing in Africa. So it's okay, back to the car. Door clips in nicely it's not going to slam on you when a breeze blows and here's the interior so you might be wondering what's different everything so the seats have been changed custom embroidery installed it's not stock but it's cool that it uh it goes with the 17th anniversary theme uh it got custom sound well not custom sound deadening put in because on the highway this thing makes a crazy amount of noise a custom center console, a custom steering wheel with onboard controls that are linked to the Pioneer radio that's linked to a Rockford sound system. Bam, 65 grand for that. Uh, the gear lever's been lifted, so it actually works well with this cooler. Bam, cooler. In the sound system side, we've got speaker. Speaker. I'm pretty sure that's a subwoofer. Yeah, this thing's heavy. Speaker. Tweeter. So, yeah, tweeter's symmetrical. Under the seat, we've got a compressor. Bam. So, what are all these mods gonna cost? So, let's wrap it up, shall we? Because I remember things completely irrelevant, I had to write it down on a piece of paper. We've got, for the interior, for the soundproofing, Pioneer head unit, steering wheel, and rear Gobi X bumper, all come together for 110 grand. Okay, but now what's the total cost of the build? Well, for all mod supporting mods, accessories, uh, parts, on order and paid for to come which honestly is not that many i think it's just a winch 
it comes to 669,790 Rand. Uh, I just look at the approximate calculation I put on the screen here. That's what it's going to cost. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That should be it for the breakdown mod. If there's anything you think I missed, please let me know and I'll try and get the details on it. Uh, so if you're looking at building a vehicle like this, you so you know more or less what you're looking at for each part. And yeah, let me know what you think. Please like, subscribe, it'll really help out the channel. And I just noticed that there's some wires on the roof now. <laughs> Oh wow, well, I can't believe I missed that. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy, have a good one, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye.